In news this morning, many Catholics in the Twin Cities are getting their first chance to meet and hear from Archbishop Bernard Hebda. The new interim leader of the St. Paul and Minneapolis Archdiocese will celebrate his first math at the St. Paul Cathedral this morning. He replaces Archbishop John Neinstedt, who resigned last month following re revelations over a period of months in a decades-long child sex abuse scandal. Many this morning are hoping to hear Archbishop Hebda address the scandal in his homily. In an interview Friday, he said he has this message for Twin Cities Catholics. I would want to tell them they have to have hope. We have to have hope. And uh, that really there's a, there's a light at the head of the tunnel. And if we can keep our eyes fixed on the things that are important to us, we'll be able to get there. And certainly we have to really uh, uh, be willing to recognize that uh, there, many people have been hurt. Rachel Slavic is live outside the cathedral on what many see as a turning point for the Catholic Church here in the Twin Cities. Red Esme Mass here started about a half hour ago, and I'm told a very large crowd is in there. Normally, they get about 600 people out for this 10 o'clock Sunday Mass here at the St. Paul C Cathedral, but today they're having well over 1,000 people show up. I want to show you some video as Archbishop Hebda walked in for the first time. He knows as he takes over leadership of this archdiocese that it will be a challenge to rebuild trust. This is the second time in less than two years that Pope Francis has asked the 55-year-old to turn around in archdiocese he's dealing with a sex abuse scandal. Since June, this archdiocese has had criminal charges filed against it, bankruptcy filings, and the resignation of Archbishop Neinstead. Archbishop Hebda says transparency will be important, meaning he may release information of the church's internal investigation. This morning, worshipers from all over the metro came for this first mass. I want to see what uh, he's got to say about the healing in the archdiocese. And uh, his uh, resume sure sounds impressive, uh, a canon law lawyer and a lawyer. I think we will be going forward and spiritually and, and physically, so I'm, I'm happy. The Archbishop has also talked about trying to make the church more inclusive for gays and also people who've been divorced. His homily just wrapped up, but he did not address specifically either that issue or the sex abuse issue, but people will have a chance to meet with the Archbishop after Mass today. All right, and Rachel, he is not the permanent replacement, right? Right now, he's just the interim leader right now, and there's been no timeline on when a permanent replacement will be named. All right, Rachel Slavic, thank you so much.